Hey YouTube, it's Matt with Lipless Reptiles, and this is my favorite kind of video to make. You see, sometimes we sit around, we write down ideas, and we don't really ever make a plan, and then we talk about them. Every now and then, something gets said that causes inspiration in me to make a video, and today, that's what just happened. So nobody knows what we're about to do. Do you know what we're going to do? No. Kurt, do you know what we're going to do? A video. Are you worried about the content? No. You, you should be. We're going to talk about brand new jeans. Here's the thing, guys. I know we're, we're, we got our project. We're working. and Everybody's got something new, and that's fine. That's good. Some of that shit actually is new. We're not, this isn't me bitching about people not doing the work and <coughs> calling something new and standing by and all. We already talked about that. This is a different conversation. Not all new jeans are, are matter. Okay? I'm almost going to go with it right there. Not all new jeans make a difference. Not all new jeans. Everybody goes, oh, it's a new jean. Let me go ahead and slap the standard new jean price tag on that some bitch. There it is. There we go. New jean. New jean, 10 grand new jeans. That's kind of what happens right now, right? What if it's a new jean that looks like Crap. shit? We're an adult channel. Why? And maybe correct me for this. Why? Why? Do we get a new jean that looks like shit, but people still want 10 grand for it? If it looks like shit, I'm not going to give you that for it. Not paying 100 bucks. I don't care if it's new, but it looks like shit. You better show me something that that animal looks good in and that it, it pairs well with to make it worthwhile. Here is a prime example. I'm going to catch some fucking flack. Okay. All right. This new gene came out. The galaxy far, far away a long time ago. Okay. It was called Sunset. Sunset, as a baby was pretty babies. Everybody agree with that? Kurt? Yeah. Caleb? Yep. Yep. Started seeing adult sunsets. Meh. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Would you now before you guys go, oh my god, look, I'm not talking about the value. This is not about value. This is about why value comes. Do they look good? We're supposed to make pretty looking animals. Okay? Uh, and then some of the combos were like, eh. Would you agree with that? For the most part. Okay, Kurt? I like some of the combos. Some of them, yeah. Let me tell you, I was kind of like, mm, yeah, on Sunset. Didn't knock it. Wasn't my jam. Didn't like how it was turning as an adult. Didn't like the combos. And then, Sunset, honestly, is one of those genes that films and photographs like Donkey Dick. But we got to see a pretty well started and grown. Was it an inchy? Mojave. Mojave. So a Mojave sunset. And that looked so sweet. So now I am here on sunset. See how that happens? The look matters, man. Just because something's new, we shouldn't just chase it. You know, there's a new gene I recently heard about that, to me, kind of just... Now, granted, I've only seen the one. It's being talked about quite a bit. And for some people, it may be their jam. And that's something else we got to talk about. We talk about things like this is what I think looks good may be entirely different than somebody else thinks look good. looks good. But this is for you, okay? This is what I'm trying to tell... You know, if you thought Sunset looked fucking awesome from day one, and you like the way the adults look, and you want in that project from day one, then by all means, you should have got into it. Don't let me stop you. I love Exanthics. Some people fucking hate that shit and wouldn't give a hundred bucks for one of them. That's how it is. And I'm okay with that. I'm going to buy what I like and what I'm into. And that's my challenge for you. Don't go brand new gene. Gotta have it. Although there's one called Gotta Have It, this is not about GHI, okay? Don't do that. This is bad. Don't, it's just not a way to run your business. 
this, y'all gonna get pissed off and say about, oh, people who breed this are only in it for the money, or people who breed a spider are only in it for the people who are in it for the money. People who do this shit are only in it for the money. 100% guaranteed. When they chase the newest, latest, greatest thing, despite how it looks, despite whether they like it, because they see this, this, what are they in it for? What are they in it for? One fucking thing. It's right there. That's it. And that's okay. That's what they're in it for. I don't mind. What pisses me off a little bit is when you get people who aren't in it for that, who are doing what they like, and then they're going, you're just in it for the money. You're doing it. Well, fuck you. I'm in it because I want to be in it. I'm in it for what I love. Plain and simple. And I don't care why anybody else is in it. But what I'm saying is if you love this, and you want to be here because you like the animals and you want to produce animals that blow your mind. And if it increases your bank account, that's a bonus. Okay, I'm not telling you you should only make pastels here. Don't take me wrong. You know, you want it to increase your bank account. A great example is freeways, man. Freeways look badass every time they crawl out of the egg. I ain't seen one yet that I just didn't go, God damn, that thing looks good when it crawls out and it makes me smile. Their price has gone like this because there's a lot of people making them now. And that's okay. I'm going to keep making them. They still make good money. And God damn, they still look good when they come out of that egg. Every time they age well. Our, our uh, pastel freeway girl, we used to make a lot of Mardi Gras. is just amazing. By the way, she's ovulated now. I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to keep making the exantic combos I really like. Whether some will have spiders, some won't. I'm going to keep making those things. I'm going to keep working with Blitz because I like what it does. But when I've made something, I kind of go, eh. And I don't know if I really I'm liking what that did probably not going to be the well I go right back to okay it's just it's just not uh and that would be the thing here if I see a brand new gene and I really like it at some point I'm going to get into it maybe not right away because of cost maybe down the road I a lot of times will wait and kind of wait for some combos to come out to see what it does in combos whether or not I really like it uh, a great thing we'll go grab your favorite snake over there you know what I'm talking about you just said it was your favorite gene the other day. Oh, yeah. There you go. Uh, this is one we recently got into that's not brand new. It's not old. And, and we jumped into it. Why? Because when I saw it, I really liked it. Then I walked around and I looked up shit it could make and looked at some combos with it. And man, I really fucking liked it. So then we got into it. Sentinel. Right there. Thing's awesome. I like it. Somebody may be looking at it going, eh, I don't feel it. Well, that's okay. You should be breeding what you like. But if all we do is go, oh, if I can get this new one, I can make money, I can make money, I can make money, then that's not the type of breeding that I want to do. The other thing I'll tell you is when you're doing that type of breeding, if your bank account's your only focus, you are more likely to make questionable ethic decisions because your bank account's your only focus. This becomes what's most important about these guys. Uh, now that doesn't mean that everybody that ever bought a sunset or what's another ugly damn morph? <laughs> oh, I like sunsets now. That man, that Mojave sunset. It was cool. Oh God, it was awesome. It now was, I want sunset. It was one. So that's like, why I kind of same boat. Where that's, I was like, yeah. Eh. Which is and why like, that's really pretty. Which is literally why I chose to pick on sunset here because I knew I could end it in a way saying, yeah, I actually really like them at this point. Yeah, because I saw the combos I like, and it's something we probably will be into now that we've seen combos we actually really like with it. Because if it can do that with Mojave, it could do something cool with Lesser. That Mojave Blitz with Sunset would be wah. There's a lot of cool things that we can do. So I really want to work that more. And I just needed to see some combos, and it's when I needed to see in person, which took a while. They didn't show up in Kansas for a hot minute. At least it shows. They are now. Find them in Kansas. It shows now apparently. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, that's my... What's another ugly gene that you see how people run into? Mm. Ugly gene. Give me an ugly gene. Come on, what's something that's not your favorite? Kurt, what's not your favorite? Pick one, anyone. Um. Okay, I'll pick for Kurt. Kurt doesn't like this. <laughs> we'll write your name on it. <laughs> Kurt don't like champagne. Fair? Fair. Rolls in mud. So if champagne was new... Okay, they're brand new, Kurt... And they were selling for ten grand a pop. We could buy one and breed some champagnes and make some decent money pretty quick, possibly. Uh, but you just thought they looked like donkey shit. Or you could get into something you really liked, like clown, for whatever fucking reason. Which one would you rather be in? Clown. Definitely clown. Definitely clown. 
right, for you guys. I'd rather be in champagne. So consequently, what do we have, both of? Champagne and clown. Why don't we have a champagne clown? I don't know. We have an inchy clown that would actually add pattern. Oh, maybe we do a champagne clown one day. But that's my point. It's always about breeding what you like. You know, for me, like... Okay, guys, don't flame me for it. I don't really care about Orange Dream. Now, let me put a, an asterisk on this. You get some super, super high-end nice shit from Ozzy, it's a little different, okay? Because he's been lion breeding that for so long, he makes some of the best shit there. But overall, I look at Orange Dream, and I'm kind of like, eh. It has a little bit of tint. Uh, it does great in combos by itself. Wasn't my favorite. I wasn't going to go buy an Orange Dream. We got an Orange Dream because who likes it? Kurt did. It was one of those first things he bought. Caleb, what's an ugly morph for you? Ugly morph for me? Ugly morph. Ugh. Ugly morph that you don't really want to work with. Especially in the single gene form. Man. I'm trying to think. That's honestly Enchi. I'm not going to lie. Oh. Enchi. Sorry, Kurt. Kurt's going to dick punch both of us <laughs> when this video's over. I've seen him do it to a guy one time. Playing cards, it was not a pretty sight. He'll chuckle first, and then it's coming. <laughs> and he's lightning quick, man. Even three sheets to the wind, he'll put you on the ground. It's not. I felt kind of bad for the guy after I got done laughing at him. It was pretty funny, but that dude kind of deserved it too. Uh, so anyway, yeah, Curtin's in there with the head. Wow! It was like watching Bruce Lee, that two-inch punch, a two-inch dick punch. Bam! Ugh. So why Inchy? Why Inchy? I, by itself, it just doesn't. Meh, it's, it's meh, meh for me. So if uh, Inchi was brand new, would you have jumped into it? No. 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 I what do, do I... think in combos, I will preface that in certain combos it looks really nice. But the fact of the matter is by the time it gets to combos, whether it's Inchi, which you say looks nice in combos, and I agree, yeah. Orange Dream, which I will admit looks nice in some combos, looks really good with Pastel. To me, it kind of originally looked like a not as pretty version of <laughs> Pastel. I hate to say it. Uh, you know, or Kurt with Champagne and it rolled in mud. Uh, you know, when you combo these properly, they all look really good. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, these two together do some spectacular stuff. Uh, this with like lesser and pastel. This with pastel is awesome because it reacts. So all those things tend to, to do different things together. But we wouldn't have got into them when they were new, most likely. You know, like now would I have got into this brand new? Maybe. Would you have got into, would Kurt have got into this brand new? Inchy, you think? First came out, were you on, would you have been on board? The first came out, probably not, but after seeing combos. So it's the combos. So it's yeah. always been the kind of the combos. What is one gene that when it first came out brand new, you were in on? You'd have been like, man, I am in on that. Right, wrong, or indifferent? Mm -hmm. My point being is not all brand new genes. If you like it, it's okay to be like, man, I want to get into that. Whether you do it right then or down the road. Well, y'all think I'll go first. Well, obviously, when I first got into it, I loved Exantic, but it wasn't brand new. For me... The scaleless. And when I first saw one of those, I'm like, okay, at some point I want to get into that. I, I spent four digits plus not too long after, uh, not right away, on a scaleless head when they started becoming more available uh, with some extra kicker genes to do just that. And hopefully this year, we may produce full blown scaleless after many, many years. So for me, it was, I shouldn't say scaleless head. I bought the scaleless head. It was scaleless I wanted in. Who wants to go next? It was a brand new gene you were in on or wanted to be in on? Banana. Kurt was banana. Kurt, why didn't we get into banana when it was brand new? Because it, when I first started looking at them, they were 20,000 plus. It's one in or two there. Yeah, that was it. One. One in. They were $20,000 when we first got into it. Kurt, what did you and I both have just recently done when we got into ball pythons? Divorce. Yeah. When a divorce is another word for you're fucking broke for a little while. So uh, we weren't going to go spend 20 grand on a snake, even between two of us. We were just hoping to have enough money to have tacos that we cooked at home every now and then. And maybe a beer. That was, <laughs> that was, that was good living. And some random person I met that evening. Uh, anyway, then I got passed out part of my life. Caleb, what about you? Desert Ghost. Desert Ghost. Okay. And, and for a lot of people here, like, well, Desert Ghost is pretty new. Desert Ghost is actually pretty old. It's been out for a long time. It just took a long time to really take off. It did. 
I think it was because somebody went and named it Desert Ghost and confused the holy fuck out of everybody because there was a desert gene that is completely worthless. I bought my first... Oh, it's pissing on the table. I bought my first Desert Ghost pair. Visual Desert Ghost pair. I think it might just take a big old poop for you. For like $200. Oh, I'd let her go. She ain't done yet. She gonna poop. Yeah, that's gonna go back in your cage. Yeah, she gonna crawl around and pop that out. For how much? $200. Your first Visual Desert Ghost pair for $200. When was that? Forever and a year ago. You're not old enough for forever and a year ago. It was. I got sperm older than you. I don't know. Probably still living in there I somewhere. Like seven years ago. Seven years ago. So yeah, Desert Ghost, they knew, damn, they were cheap then. Yeah, it was lost to someone I knew. And then I never got the snakes. So somebody you knew fucked you over. Yeah. That happened twice with Desert Ghost Perry. Because four years ago. Whoever messed over Caleb, just know. <laughs> The milkman's coming to your back door. <laughs> well, to four get years back. ago, I bought that pair for eight hundred from someone we all knew, and then I never got them either. So Desert Ghost is apparently bad luck for me. Because yeah. two pairs I bought, visual pairs, and never never received, received them. them. Yeah, I remember that deal too. That was a bad deal. It was a bad deal. There's some extenuating circumstances there. Yeah. On that one, so it'll be nice. But uh, so there you are. We all had new genes we wanted to get into, but there's reasons behind it. Desert Ghost. What drew you to that? Um, honestly, the first thought I had was, damn, that could fix the browning out of Exanthic. Okay. Fix Exanthic. That was the ex first project I wanted to get that into was uh, Exanthic. Yeah. Kurt, what drew you to Banana when it was $20,000 we were broke? It looked different than all the other ball pythons. Just so different. These are what I would call when they were new, really good new genes. Can't spell different. For me, scaleless. I mean, just, just those first ones, just, I mean, they were just a clean. When you take those scales off, that color and pattern is just the cleanest snake I've ever seen in ball pythons. They're just so clean. I couldn't get over how clean it was, you know. Um, they don't look like that as adults as much because the paper thin sheds and they tend to retain some shed and it's kind of a mess. But man, they just, that blew my mind. And so that was one for me. So not like... These are new genes when they first came out, I would say, had their own type of beauty that they held for us. Uh, I'm not going to chase into a new gene, now or ever, unless I find it attractive. Unless I find something in there that I like in the pairings. And that's what I would tell you to do this as well. And that even includes stuff that I come out with that's new. I'm not going to tell you you should buy it just because I came out with it. You should buy it because you really like it and you think you can do something really fucking cool with it. That's why you should buy it. Uh, in my opinion. All right. That's it on brand new jeans. Don't chase them just because they're new. Chase them because you love them or you like them. Don't chase them just because you think you can make money. Um, I mean, if you just want to make money, you are in the wrong business. I can point you towards a lot of businesses that will just make money. Uh, this one will make money too, but it's dealing with living things, which means that you probably have to have a little bit of ethics and heart involved. Kelly, you want to add to this? Nope. Kurt? Nope. One more thing, then we'll get off here. Another part of it is on these jeans, whether it's brand new or not, just jeans in general, if you really love the jean, you're more likely to take really good care of it and less likely to uh, get, you know, less enamored with it when it no longer holds a monetary value it once held. That would be the thing. That's why I own rattlesnakes. Love those little bastards. I wish they'd love me back. They'd love to bite me sometimes. They certainly don't love me. All right, guys, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.